What a January transfer window it has been, and I couldn't have got through it without the One Football app. The One Football app has everything you need: news, gossip, and everything in between. Lee, you've had the One Football app for a while now. How much do you love it? I love it. I'm just looking at all the confirmed transfers that have been happening. It's been a very busy January for Newcastle, and the stories are still happening. And it puts all the articles together, so you don't need to look anywhere else. The link's in the description. Download the One Football app now. Newcastle Fans TV. Evening, everyone. It's Adam from Newcastle Fans TV. Just getting out of the ground. Well, not too long ago. Maybe we'll have to tell. Put the train station for where I'm going tonight. Absolutely buzzing with that result. Performance and the atmosphere with the team, uh, with the fans. It's absolutely class. Um, a weekend just bouncing from the start. Um, two goals in the first half, Joe Linton and Joe Willock. Um, away from the away fans, so my eyes aren't the best, anyone who knows us, and so I didn't really see much of our limbs in the away end. Um, but Jalint again, just, just class start to finish. Um, I'm going to give a massive shout out to Ryan Fraser for me, who I thought was man of the match. Um, I thought he was just non stop the entire game. Um, if I remember rightly, set on up Jalinton's header. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously, in the comments, but great memories from the day. Um, Brentford corner, started to get a bit twitchy towards the end of the first half, which usually um, we're quite solid at set piece at the minute with Big Dan burning and massive counter attack. I think it was Fabian Shah somehow bursting forward. Great through ball to Joe Willock, who just absolutely finished it unbelievably into the corner. And again, the away end just went absolutely mad. Um, credit to the fans today, they got behind the team from the start. Um, Mike Dean giving a foul to Brentford and then reversing it and giving them a red card just shows how bad of a referee he is. Um, but yeah, hats, out to, hats off to everyone who travelled to, to London today, it was a, it was a great day. Um, I was going to do more of a detailed video but I'm waiting for a train um, at Clapham Junction now to go to a party tonight. Um, the ground was absolutely buzzing as we left, just fans everywhere just singing. The, the, the players, players and management stayed with the, the away fans for a good five, six minutes after the game. Um, just songs towards Eddie Howe, songs towards Jalinton. It was just a brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. Um, yeah, it's, it's just something about this club at the minute. Everyone is just completely behind the manager, the players. Um, we go to Brighton in the next game, which of course now is a like it, it, it's a winnable game. You know, we're not far away from Leicester now. You know, Eddie House has completely changed it around. Um, yeah, just and just enjoy the ride, everyone. It was a brilliant day to be at Brentford. I know the fortunate ones got tickets. I was lucky enough to get a ticket. Um, and today will it'll be a, a memorable game. First first game at the Brentford Community Stadium, which, by the way, is a fucking nightmare to get to. <laughs> you know, absolute pain in the arse. And credit to the fans who uh, got a new Asle Airport this morning, find out the flight to cancel at Heathrow. You know, my mates had to jump on a quick train and get, get through here, so yeah. Massive hats off to the fans today, the players, the management. We were just all together, again as a club. Um, and yeah, Ryan Fraser, my man, the match today. Shout out to Dan Burner, was class, the usual people. Will a great goal. So uh, everyone enjoy the night, enjoy match of the day, and we'll catch you soon.